Welcome guys, this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the 7th video tutorial of Pix16F886. So in the last video tutorial, I showed you how you can create LED chasing effect like this with the help of bitwise shift left and shift right operators. But in this video tutorial, I will show you how you can access a single single pin of the microcontroller's port, how we can create the same effect by a different method. So let's move to the micro C compiler. So I have already created a new project. So let's start with how we can define a user defined name to a single pin of microcontroller. For this we have to use this S bit then the name of that pin suppose LED1 then at at which pin. Now if we are dealing with the single pin of microcontroller we have to write first the pin number. Suppose I want to use RC0 of port C. So for this RC0 underscore bit then semicolon. So this is the format to assign a name to a single pin of microcontroller. Now if you want to give another name to any other pin then type S bit LED2 at RC1 underscore bit. So in this way I give the names to all pins of port C from RC0 to RC7 as LED1 to LED8. So instead of writing the port, now we will write the name of that on which we want to write the value. Now this is just for the port. We have tri-state resistor for port C. So how we can access a single single bit of that tri-state resistor? The method is same. S bit LED1 underscore direction at TRISC0 underscore bit. So this is the format to access the single single bit of tri-state resistor. Let's do it for all the bits of tri-state resistor. So I give a user defined name to all bits of the tri-state resistor from tri-state C0 to tri-state C7 as name is LD1 underscore direction to LED8 underscore direction. Now if you want to configure this RC0 for an output you have to write 0 to twist C0. Let's write this value LED1 underscore DIR because now LED1 underscore direction is equal to tri-state C0. So if this bit is equal to 0 that means RC0 is equal to output and other pins will not be affected by this statement. So now if we want to make this RC1 for an output we have to write a 0 to tri-state C1 and you can go up to tri-state C7. You can see I write 0 to all bits of tri-state resistor from 1 to 8. So we have all these bits 0 means we have all the port C pins for output. Let's try to write some value on a single pin of port C. So if I write LED2 is equal to 1 then it will make a high signal on LED2 only and it will not affect other pins. If I write LED8 is equal to 1 then it will write only to LED8 which is the RC7 pin. So you can see what is the output on hardware. This is the RC0 pin, this is RC1 pin and the last one is RC7 pin. So we write two values for LED2 and LED8 and this is the output. LED2 is on and LED8 is on. Now let's create the same chasing effect with this method. So first I will create an infinite loop with this while one LED1 is equal to 1 then delay underscore ms 500 LED2 is equal to 1 LED3 is equal to 1 LED4 is equal to 1 LED5 is equal to 1 LED6 is equal to 1 LED7 is equal to 1 and at last LED8 is equal to 1. But before writing the code to hardware, first you have to write this line to make all the port pins is equal to 0 for initial condition. You can see the LEDs are turning on one by one but it is not same as chasing effect. So for that we have to turn off the last LED. If I am turning on this LED1 then I have to turn off all other LEDs like from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 LED will be off if my first LED is on. Now if LED2 is on remaining will be off. Now I add this line before every delay instruction because we want to turn on only one LED so 
all other LEDs will be off. Now you can see the same chasing effect on the LEDs with a different way. You can reduce the amount of delay to increase the chasing speed. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.